What's going on guys? I want to make this video detailing a new Halloween edition, the 35th anniversary edition. Just found out about it. Um, well, I, I found out about it a while back, but it looks like they completely changed everything because now it looks like a digibook. And I'll leave a link in the description to show it. It doesn't spe specifically say it's a digibook, but from the picture it really looks like one. So the 35th anniversary edition of John Carpenter's 1978 masterwork is getting an all new HD transfer uh, provided by Stars and Anchor Bay, a new 7.1 audio mix, and brand new special features. Uh, like I said, go to the annotation or uh, link in the description to take a look at the packaging. Tell me that doesn't look like a digibug because I think it does. Um, new special features include all new commentary track with director John Carpenter and star Jimmy Lee Curtis. Uh, the Night She Came Home, a new feature out with Jamie Lee Curtis filmed in HD, which makes me think it was recently done. Uh, on location, trailers, TV, radio spots, additional scenes from the TV version, because this 35th anniversary edition has two cuts of the movie, the unrated and the tele the famous television uh, cut. So, um, like I said, go down to the uh, link in the description if you want to take a look at the packaging. I think it looks like a digibook, but it doesn't say specifically that it is so it, it says the uh, suggested retail price is $34.99 and this is what has me confused it says suggested re retail price $34.99 and pre-book is August 28th so I don't know what that means pre-book that term um, blu-ray.com has it listed for it to come out September 24th and then later or down into the article it says August 28th so I'm not sure what's going on. It may have been a typo uh, within the article. I don't know. But um, on Amazon, it's going for $31. Um, and it just looks awesome. So uh, all new HD transfer, um, which has me excited because the original Blu-ray transfer, it didn't look bad, but it definitely could have looked better. And I'm glad it, it's getting a new, uh, a new transfer um, to go along with the new transfers that Halloween 2 and 3 got courtesy of Shout Factory or Scream Factory or whatever one it was. Uh, it seems to me that I think they're the same company. It's just sometimes they go by Shout Factory and sometimes they go by Scream Factory. Or maybe they're different divisions. I'm not sure. But uh, link in the description down to all the information I just shared with you. Uh, pictures of the packaging. Uh, I think it looks like a digibook. The packaging looks really awesome. But uh, like I said, link in the description if you want to take a look. Thanks for watching. See you later.